Mate, you've been around football a long time. Don't suppose anything ever surprises you anymore, does it? Uh, it doesn't really, no. I think, um, obviously, uh, I think it came as a little bit of a bow out of the blues for everyone to actually hear the news. But um, I think it's the fact that it initially probably does surprise you, but then you, you kind of just get on with things again and wait for what's going to happen next. And um, obviously disappointed to see the manager go because he was, he was very good for me um, personally. But as we say, football is one of those businesses where everything starts again, life goes on, and you then look forward to impressing the next people who are in charge. And we'll, uh, as it stands, we'll throw everything into playing for Hinch and, and, uh, and Gaz, and forever how long that, that may be, we'll throw everything into that and try and impress them. Um, and that's all you can really do. As a senior player, do you have a bit more responsibility over the next couple of weeks while this interim period takes place? We well, probably like to think that that's what you have to do now. You have to probably, uh, there's a few of the lads in there that might not have experienced um, a little bit of upheaval before. Um, a few of the lads here that were brought by the manager himself. Um, so they'll be, you know, they'll be wondering what, what the situation is for them and whatnot, as human beings do. But um, yeah, I think it's probably a time to, to pull a few, just to reassure a few um, and keep things ticking over. And that's the job of myself and, and Danny and, uh, and Josh in the coming, in coming days or weeks or however long that may be. Um, so yeah, uh, a little bit of added responsibility, I suppose, but, uh, but one that you kind of just take on without thinking about. I mean, it's not as funny word to use, but do the players feel almost feel a bit responsible for what's happened? I mean, it's down to performances, but having said that, we were unbeaten in four games, weren't we? So we weren't playing that badly. Yeah, I mean, listen, the manager gave all of his time for us and he, he, uh, he prepared us very well. That was one of his good qualities. Um, and uh, and it is up to us when we cross the right line to, to maybe find the answers out while we're out there. So, from that respect, if we'd have won a couple more games, then this situation might not be uh, might not have, have come in. But you know, I suppose there probably will be a little bit of soul searching going on in the in the coming days. But that can only uh, go for so long because we've got a very big game to come on Saturday. So, you know, I think in some respects. Um, we will have to look at ourselves, but that won't go on for too long because, as I say, we've got a big, big game on Saturday that, that can then take us right back into the power hunt. Well, this is it. I mean, uh, we go to Crew on Saturday. I mean, mm -hmm. they're not having the best of runs themselves, but they're no. always a tough side to play against, aren't they? At their home, similar to us. Yeah, at, at home, yeah, they are similar to us. That uh, they like to pass the ball, uh, and at their place, they're uh, a bit more of a formidable uh, ta um, team, I'd say. So it'll be. A difficult game for us to go into, as is every league one fi fixture. But I think I think one of the things uh, Gaz and Inch will be doing now is to try and really instil a sense of of unity uh, amongst us and and a bit of that. Um, let's all come together, uh, group together as a bunch of lads and a bunch of friends, um, and really put a performance in for them. And hopefully that that uh, can provide the three points for us.